This is like drinking a candle. That smells like blood. <laughs> what natural flavors did you put in there? Cayenne? Cream of tartar. Oh, it's so complex and it's all bad. Well, if I throw up, I'll tell you later on Twitter. That smells like a garbage can. How hard is it to make fucking lemonade? Me at the start of the stream. I love lemonade. Me at the end of the stream. I think I hate lemonade. I figured out what these taste like. When you get a colonoscopy. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Lemonade Stream. I like lemonade. I bought all the lemonade I could find. I want to know what the best lemonade is. Let's start. Let's see what we've got. So first up, we've got Simply Lemonades. And these are the ones I'm familiar with, so I'm kind of blowing past them. This is Limeade. Four out of five. Strawberry. That's another four. Also, I've got a bowl of green apples here as a uh, palate cleanser. Because nothing gets rid of sour taste like a sour apple. Blueberry. Wow. That's really, really good. Five, this is the best one. It's like frolicking through a blueberry mist with a lemon jacket on. This is simply lemonade, normal flavor. A little boring, a little Minute Maidy, could be better. Three. Next up, Santa Cruz Organic. Huh, something about this tastes old. This tastes like when you bite into an apple and like a little bit of it, you can tell it's not even like bruised, but it's like a little old, you know? Like there's just old in this drink. This literal old apple that I'm eating tastes less old fruit than this does. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna knock this down to a two. Something's not good about it. Let's try the strawberry. Mmm, way better. Way better immediately. This drink smells nice. This is a four. That's way better than the basic lemonade. Santa Cruz blueberry. What the fuck? This tastes like eating a leaf that a ladybug just crawled over. It's really acrid. Did this expire? Oh man, we gotta use these fruits somewhere else. Can I use the leaves? And they're like, sure. And they plucked all the leaves off of the blueberry. And like, technically this is blueberry juice. Blech. Maybe I should knock that down to a one. I was giving it the benefit of the doubt for being interesting, but interesting does not mean good. These seven are all from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's Organic Lemonade. Yep, that's the Trader Joe's Lemonade, I remember. I'd say a four on that. If those last yem uh, lemonades I was drinking were like 20-somethings and 30-something yuppies, this one's an old, old man. He's like 60. It's a little bitter, kind of mellow. It's good though. It's, it's probably a little too sugary for- 58, yeah, oh my God. For how mellow and small that flavor is, I think a 58's a little egregious. Yeah, this is just this but a lot more water in it. It's a lot brighter, it's a lot easier to drink. I would say, including health, I think this is pretty much objectively better than this. They're both good though. I would be happy if you serve both of these to me, so I'm gonna say four for both of them. This is unpasteurized Trader Joe Limeade. Mm. Nope. Two, that's lime juice. That's lime juice with no twist. This needs more sugar. And I bet it already has a ton of sugar in it. This has 54% added sugars and it still needs more sugar. This is organic jalapeno limeade. Thoroughly boring. So you think it would be a lot of flavor. It's like a dusting of lime and then like the smallest tickle of heat and it's gone. This could probably be an okay mixer, but other than that, I don't really like it. Trader Joe's pink lemonade. Ooh, this is low calorie pink lemonade. Okay. That is so mild. That's barely anything. That's like homeopathic lemonade. There was lemonade in there once. Two. I don't think there's a reason to get this one. Is it like healthier? No. Trader Joe's organic strawberry lemonade. Mm, mm-hmm. Fat man step on a strawberry and put it in his drink. Props, this really tastes like strawberry puree. I'll give it a three. It's, it's not bad, it's fine, it's a drink. Sparkling lemonade. Didn't get a lot of sparkling stuff because a lot of them are water. There is lemon juice in here though. That's pretty good. If I'm a shitty waspy woman at a baby shower, but I'm driving home, this is what I'm gonna drink. I, I hate how much I like this. Four, it's not exceptional. It's, it's just bubble water with a little more acid in it, but like, I like bubble water and I like acid. 
Calypso. This is not even close to every Calypso flavor, but it is all the ones I've ever seen in a store. All right, how about we go in rainbow order with these guys? There, we got this, we got this whole array. I really like them because they look like video game potions. You know, like tropical Skittles and tropical Starburst? It's like that if they didn't suck. Paradise Punch Lemonade. Ah, we've got our winners of the added sugars contest. This is 110 so far with 6% juice. So this is 99% sugar. And boy, do these taste like it. Mm. <laughs> Oh my god. All those other ones were like little kids like at a lemonade stand. Just like, here mister, we had lemonade, we would put lemon juice and sugar in it, and it's pretty good. And then down the street there's fucking Daryl coming out of a meth lab like, I melted down a bucket of Jolly Ranchers! <laughs> this is fruit punch, and the word punch is italicized. That's a lot. Oh god, it even tastes like I just ate candy. Like I can feel the sugar on my teeth. Four. This is strawberry lemonade. This is the light variety. Added sugars, zero. Mmm. Added sugars, zero? Really? What, what's in there, you little bitch? Sucralose. Yeah, this is terrible for you too, but for different reasons. To me, Calypso tastes like a public pool in like the best way. Like you go to the snack bar and they've got like big stupid ice cream pops, candy, sugar syrup they put in drinks. This tastes a little bit like a pink Starburst. Man, these are really good. God, honestly, five. These are fucking delicious. I feel like if I wanna keep drinking it, like, isn't that, is that not what a five should be? This is Southern Peach Lemonade. I had one of these the other day. That tastes like a kiss on the cheek. That's just peach and sugar. That's just marmalade being smeared on your face. I'm gonna give that a four. This is lemonade. This is normal ass lemonade. All my favorite lemonades are the ones that aren't just lemonade. <laughs> but maybe this lemonade with 106% of my daily sugar will be able to convince me otherwise. I don't know where all that sugar's going. It's not doing much work. After these three, this tastes like nothing. This is so boring. On its own, like a three, because it's so unhealthy, too. If you're at a store and you see Calypso, why the fuck would you get the normal lemonade? Every other one of these has been better so far. This is Calypso Light. Still just lemonade, but this is a lot better for you. That's better. This this literally tastes better than that one. It kind of tastes like just taking those fake sugar packets from like a restaurant dining table and pouring it into, into a drink with some lemon juice, but like, it's fine. Give it a three. Island Wave Lemonade. I love this color. Mm. <laughs> it's so much. This is like drinking a candle. After this piddly, regular light lemonade, drinking this is like mainlining a scented candle. <laughs> oh, this stays in your mouth. Oh, this stays in your mouth. I don't know if I'd even need to take another sip. You know, this is so much. Five. Island wave. It, it really does taste like being hit by a wave. <laughs> the candle gets a five. I like candles. Ocean blue lemonade. Calypso, let's try this. A lot. Calypso's a lot. This just tastes like candy with an exclamation point after it. Just candy. It's not blue raspberry. It's not blueberry. Just like, what flavor is it? Blue. If you were a parent and you gave this to your child, this is a sugar rush in a bottle. You'll regret it later. I'm still gonna give it a four. I, I really like Calypso. If they weren't so unhealthy, then I'd drink them way more often. Ocean blue light lemonade. To my memory, this one's better than the, the sugary one. This tastes like a pool. This tastes like being at a pool. That's all I can say. Four, it's good. I want to be in a pool and drink this. Joe's favorite flavor is pool. No, my favorite flavor is candle. Trader Joe's is a really good light lemonade. Simply is a good balance of like, ooh, there's some flavor. These are like, do you want someone to walk up to you and hit you in the face with a pool noodle made out of sugar? And fuck it, sometimes I do want that. Black cherry lemonade. Oh no. That smells like blood. <laughs> that straight up smells like a nosebleed. Wow, that's just like hard, bitter, sour, sweet as like a, an intense soda. You know, props to them. They said black cherry and they meant it. That is like a bitter black cherry. Five, that's great. If you, if you want sour and you want a sour lemonade and you don't care about your teeth, black, black cherry Calypso, very good. If you're a vampire, I've got the lemonade for you. These are from Shake Shack. 
I got them today for lunch. I ordered four from Shake Shack. The mango lemonade was out and their normal lemonade was not delivered to me. I don't know what the, they're pink. I'll guess what they are. Right, this one. Ah. I think this is lychee salted limeade. It tastes fermented. It tastes like there's wine in it. Like it's refreshing because there's ice in it, but it tastes like you poured a lime into some wine. Two, it's interesting enough to not be a one. Strawberry limeade, four, it's very good. I've never tried most of these, so this is all blind territory at this point. These two are swoon lemonade, naturally zero, oh, naturally zero sugar. Why, do you have monk fruit in you? Oh, you do. I can't swallow this. Um, I've had monk fruit one time, and it made me throw up. That tastes like Trader Joe's lemonade. Good. And then it's like, asparagus? I, I gotta give it a one. I mean, if you taste like asparagus, you're out, bro. Ew, God, gross. I don't know if it was asparagus exactly. It tasted like vegetable, not even like vegetal, like not like matcha, like it tasted like a cooked vegetable, which is like the last fucking thing I want in lemonade. Swoon lemonade, pink lemonade. Let's see what kind of vegetable is in this one. One. What the fuck is this? Oh, it's so complex and it's all bad. Ugh. This fucker at least convinces you that he's nice and then he stabs you after the first date, but what? What the fuck? Oh, horrible. Your new main squeeze, I doubt it. What's in you, you monster? Oh, oh, it has such a bad aftertaste too. This is so complicated and it's all bad. Oh, and it's still in my mouth. Mm. Zero. Mm. If you took a lemon and bit into it and the inside was mushroom. Oh God, and then the aftertaste is like rotten orange. Not only is that some of the worst lemonade I've ever had, that's like, that's maybe one of the worst drinks I've ever had straight up. Oh, into the garbage. Ew. Ugh. What the fuck? What color is that? Do you know what pink is? This is Miller Lite color. I swear I'm not playing that up. That like actually is nauseous to even pass my lips. You better hope that you found your bottom. God, I hope so. The normal lemonade is a one. The pink lemonade is a zero. This is undrinkable. I hate Minute Maid lemonade. I'm gonna do Minute Maid lemonade a huge fucking favor. It gets to follow that. Yup, that's Minute Maid lemonade. It's the sunny D of lemonades. Two, low two. Minute Maid lemonade is the reason that it's always a gamble to order lemonade at a restaurant. It's crappy sugar water. It's barely lemonade. It's an embarrassment, but it didn't. It doesn't make me throw up. All right, Minute Maid pink lemonade. Same shit. Three percent lemon juice. Yeah, I can tell. These are the same drink. Is there any difference at all? This one's like three percent sweeter. This one's like three percent more sour. They're both twos. The reason it's called Swoon Lemonade is because it makes you fucking fall over like you're on a rocking boat in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Dull Lemonade, never had this. Made with real lemon juice and real sugar. I don't believe you. Ah, 138% added sugars. For what, Dole? This tastes dead ass like those shitty little fruit cups. If you opened it, poured out the pineapple and just drank the juice. It's not good at all. You might be a one. Okay, this is a Whole Foods one. I've never tried this. This is Evolution Fresh Organic Strawberry Lemonade. It's everyone's right to thrive. Every moment of every day, we can be our best, most loving and vibrant selves. This sounds like the type of thing and I get up every morning at five and go jogging and then go to church person who is racist would drink. Once again, that really strong strawberry puree smell kind of putting me off to it before I even sip it. What was the other thing that had strawberry puree in it? Tastes pretty much exactly like that. This would be a great base for a smoothie. It's too much to drink on its own, too. This is Uncle Matt's organic, no sugar added lemonade. Why, you don't have monk fruit in you, do No, it's stevia, great, okay. Love it, first sip. Well, we'll find out. 
No, not at all. It's like water with some soap in it and it's sour. One, boiling sparkling lemonade, cane sugar. Sparkling, it looks nice. Smells good. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually really good. This is something you drink in a bubble bath. This tastes like artisanal Sprite. Yeah. I mean, you know what? Fuck it. Five. Why not? It's making, it's making me do a wiggle when I when I drink it. Yeah, five. Every like two minutes, the monk fruit is just like, remember me. <laughs> These I got from a soda shop. This is more sparkling lemonade. Lemmy's sparkling lemonade and Lemmy's peach lemonade in a bottle I just love. John's lemonade, which I was excited about until I realized it's supposed to be uh, John Lennon, who I hate. All right, let's go. We got a lot to live up to, Lemmy's. I just had a really good sparkling lemonade. If that last one was organic Sprite, this is organic uh, Sierra Mist or Fresca, which means it's worse. Like four, I, I like this. It tastes good. It's not what I want from lemonade. All right, let's try the peach lemonade. This is not sparkling. That doesn't smell like it's gonna be very good. something that terrible. Melted crayon. This is a melted crayon. There's no lemon. It's straight up plastic. One. That's really bad. Ugh. You're the same company? This is so good. You only have one different ingredient. What natural flavors did you put in there? Nothing natural tastes like that. This tastes like burning plastic. All right, John, you can't be much worse than that. Hmm, this one's the most interesting. Not in a good way. Fresca Sierra Mist Sprite. And Sprite's the best of those three, so. Five, four, Three. You know, I gotta say, my biggest worry about this stream was that there wouldn't be like a wide variety of lemonades. Like, they'd all be kind of middling. No, very surprised by how terrible some of these are. True lemon, we have raspberry, wild berry, strawberry, original lemonade, and black cherry limeade, which, here's hoping. So this is lemonade. Mm. <laughs> you know how when you brush your teeth with mint toothpaste and then you drink fruit juice? That's a little bit what this tastes like. Two, if I spent a dollar at a lemonade stand and you gave me this, I would be very angry. By the way, etiquette of lemonade stands, you gotta make your own fucking lemonade, okay? I'm not paying you to buy something from the store and pour it in a cup for me to stop on the side of the road. Raspberry. This one is a white powder, like cocaine. It smells better. Or it smells more, I guess. Raspberry. Mmm. Oh, never mind. I was about to say, way better! Because it tastes like raspberry Snapple powder. Or not Snapple, um, Lipton. If you mix that with bubble water, you get this, it just turns into a cup of pure foam. And you can eat it with a spoon, it's really good. It tastes like I've got mint toothpaste in my mouth and I'm drinking orange juice. Because like, the, the taste at the front is like bitter in a good way, and then it turns sour in a bad way. Two, two, and these are low twos. This one smells like it's gonna suck. Mmm, 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 no. No, they all taste like citric acid in the worst way. Wildberry. I might as well just smell these because I can tell what they're gonna taste like. The after flavor is just so bad. These taste like a scientist is in a lab and they have essence of fruit and acid and powder and they're putting all, all together and it's like, finally, this is number 50, 53. One of these experiments has to work. Does it taste like strawberry? Are you strawberry? Father, kill me! Damn! Damn! This is black cherry limeade. Come on, man. I don't know. Magically be good? I just figured out what it is. I figured out what these taste like. When you get a colonoscopy, <laughs> you have to drink this substance called C-Crep. And it makes you shit everything. It just clears out your body. This shit tastes like Supra. The texture is gasoline. And the flavor is Gatorade with like the meanest salt in it. Look it up, follow the money. <laughs> Does true lemon make Supra? <laughs> 
hate this. You are all going straight in the garbage can. How hard is it to make fucking lemonade? I have more powders. Lucky me. Crystal Light Lemonade. It's a brand I recognize, so hopefully it won't be disgusting. That's a shitty drink, but it's a drink and I swallowed it. If you built a gingerbread house and you left it out for a week and then you took a cheese grater and grated off the hard frosting and used that for sugar, that's what this tastes like. It's never met a lemon, but its cousin was roommates with a lemon too. It's not good, but it's drinkable. Yeah, you know what? Retroactively, every single true lemon a one. Fuck that. I literally couldn't drink those glasses if I had to. That's Crystal Light, that's the only Crystal Light I've got. I do not regret only buying one. Me at the start of the stream. I love lemonade, me at the end of the stream. I think I hate lemonade, guys. Country time normal. Pretzels is the same. Is there any difference here? They're all the same. This bitch is all right. This little pink bitch is okay. Three, those are all really bad. Water, water sounds amazing right now. Water, honestly, five. 365 lemonade. I've got organic, light, strawberry. Start with the normal one. Why does it smell bad? This feels like someone pre-drank pre it and it's spitting in my mouth. Three, it's like, it's mostly okay. It just has that weird taste at the front. This is the light variety of the same thing. Lemonade with warm spit. That's what it tastes like. It tastes like spit, too. How about you, strawberry? I hope you don't have strawberry puree, because that already tastes like someone spit in it. I think this one's a little better. This is a three. These are all pretty mediocre, if I'm being honest. Keep on walking, children, outside my window. Just Central Market, it's just the brand. So uh, let's try the lemon one. It's not good, but it's got a kick to it. I'll give it that. Ooh. There's a lot of lemon in this. You know what? Four. It's not good. Four. You have this in a glass of ice on a cold day, fucking awesome. It's sour and I appreciate that. If you're a lemonade, you can go like, I'm gonna be sweet and bad or I'm gonna be sour. And like, if you're gonna be sweet, I'm not gonna like you, but at least you're, at least you've got an identity. This one has chosen sour and I appreciate that. Let's try this guy. You'll be able to see this. There's strawberry all the fuck over this one. This is almost a smoothie. It's a little too much for me. Tastes too organic. It's not bad. It's really strawberry. It's not for me, but I'm gonna give it a four. All right, Country Acres Lemonade, normal flavor. Hmm. So many of these have that plasticky, spit in your mouth nose on them. Oh, I know what this tastes like. Have you ever been in a squirt gun fight and you're like, I'm thirsty. And you take one and put your mouth around the nozzle and go <laughs> exactly what this tastes like. Oh, low two. Why do they all taste like spit to you? Cause they do, okay? Raspberry. You know, I trust strawberry more. I'm gonna try that first. Okay, this one actually smells good. Significantly better, still a little plasticky. Don't know if I'd call it strawberry. It's very acidic. This is, this is a lot better. I'll give it a four. It's good. Wow, it's way better than the original. God, this is plasticky. You know what? No, I'm gonna knock it back down to a three. I can feel this on my teeth. This is really bad for you. What's the acid? 22% juice. Ooh, no wonder. That's a lot. I gotta wash my mouth out. Wow, the kid outside my window just took a water balloon and shoved it all the way in his mouth. Oh, he's... He's biting them so they stream as he throws them. A little weirdo. Um, what a little weirdo. Anyway, back to my three hour lemonade stream. <laughs> Raspberry. Doesn't smell good. This one's got something plastic and, uh, and artificial in it too. Two. It's also like really sweet. And bitch, if you got 22% juice, go sour. Oh God, wow, that one's really acidic. I can feel it running down the front of my esophagus and burning it. Limeade. Smells a little better. There we go, bitch. Yeah, that's it. Four. Oh, that's a fucking limeade. Okay, this one's good. Kicks these fuckers out of the water. You got 22% juice. Go for sour. And that is, that's sour, that's unapologetically limeade. Diabolo, 
Sparkling French Lemonade Blueberry Citron. Also, I picked it up because it's blueberry, and blueberry lemonade is top dollar. Okay. Smells good. Tastes bad, because it's French. Ooh, gets worse the longer it's in your mouth. Oh, why do you taste like that? You know when you go to the dentist? They have these horseshoe-shaped things. They're like cups that they put over your teeth. It's fluoride. That's what it is. Tastes like fluoride. French blueberry lemon fluoride. <laughs> and it tastes like death. One, it was bad. Don't drink it. Oh, we got some fun ones here that might be fucking terrible. We have me and the bees. Me and the bees lemonade with ginger? Lemonade with prickly pear? And lemonade with mint, bitch? That one. That one I'm excited for. That's why I use honey to make lemonade, which I'm gonna hate. This is gonna have lemonade, honey, and tea in it. Let's see. <laughs> that smells so bad. That smells like a garbage can. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are these gonna suck? Strong of honey and bad of taste. Ooh. Ingredients, water, honey. Honey is the second most ingredient after water. Oh no, girl. Honey is a sometimes drink. It took three sips for me to taste any tea in this. Oh, and there's the flax. That's good. Oh my God. Come back and take out 70% of the honey. This is almost good. I'm gonna give it a two because it's trying shit. Water, honey, cane sugar, lemon juice concentrate, black tea, lemon juice powder, monk fruit. Never mind. Why do you have monk fruit in it, you bitch? You've got cane sugar and honey. What's the monk fruit for? Tricking me? You. Well, if I throw up, I'll tell you later on Twitter. Lemon with ginger. Maybe. Honey kind of smells like a weird fart at the wrong distance. You ever been body surfing in like the ocean and you get tumbled by a big wave and your whole body kind of somersaults underwater and you're not sure which way is up. That's what just happened to my taste buds. It was just like, mm, 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 mm. I think this is good. This is like the kind of drink you get at a really small mom and pop store where like everything is artisanal and made within like a local 15 mile radius by farmers. The ginger is good. The ginger is strong enough, it kind of overwhelms the honey, which again, shouldn't be in there. There's like five flavors fighting in there. Prickly pear. I've had prickly pear before. I don't think it tastes like that much. I think it's just cool. These all smell terrible when you open them. That one's all bad. I think that's a one. Prickly pear isn't interesting enough to outweigh the huge amount of honey and the monk fruit. I just, I really want the mint one to be good. Please, please, me and the please. That smells so good, please be good. It's so good. It's so good, and then there's honey. It's so fucking delicious, and you're like, oh, beautiful honey. <laughs> Take it out. Easily the best one. Ah, oh, does this one have monk fruit? I really want to drink this. Fuck you. Monk fruit is like something you want to put in soda. It's like halfway between fruit and like umami flavor. Like it's it's almost meaty. It's like it's like in the mushroom world. Like in like a soda, it works. Honey, honey and mint, no. You know what? I don't like these, but at least they're not just boring. At least they're interesting in their badness. You can write home about them. Suya, your belly and taste buds will be grateful. Keep refrigerated, perishable. Cayenne, sweet and spicy. Cayenne? Oh yeah, there's little red flakes in here. Ooh, are you gonna be interesting? Okay. Stevia leaf and ground cayenne pepper. What are you gonna taste like? What if lemonade hurt to drink? Sorry, how did you describe this? Like sunshine and cool breeze. Cayenne. This is straight up if they took Trader Joe's lemonade and put more cayenne pepper in it. Yeah, I'll give it a three. The lemonade's not very good, but like, 
I do want to keep drinking it after I sip it, mostly because I'm confused. These I'm excited for. This is Dublin Tartan Sweet brand lemonade craft soda from Dublin, Texas, not Ireland. And this one is Cherry Limeade. Please be good. Let's try the normal one. It smells just like sugar. That's just a soda, but damn, it's a soda. That's just like a lemon sour candy. I wouldn't say it's super interesting. It's good. I'd give it like a four. Please be good, Cherry Limeade. You sound and look delicious. You smell really good. Fuck yeah. Oh, that tastes like being six on vacation at a candy shop. Oh, it tastes like just taking the, being at a root beer float with your pops and taking off the Mancino cherry and just eating it. It's really mellow. It's way more mellow than this. This is really nice. I'm gonna give that a five. I really like that. Uh, this is Kroger. I was about to say, all these retail brands taste exactly the same. This one, this one gives you a little kick on the way out. In a good way, actually. Come on. This is not bad. This is better than most of the store brands. Yeah, four. Tastes very fake, but not bad. I like you, Kroger. Good job. Sunkissed lemonade. I have low to no expectations for this. Look at this fucking neon green nuclear color. Yeah, you smell like Minute Maid. You taste like Minute Maid with water in it. Two, it's drinkable but bad. All right, fuck those. Now we have the fun ones. These are what I'm gonna call the, the bitch lemonades for prissy bitches. Belvoir Fruit Farms Organic Elderflower and Rose Lemonade. Let's take a sniff. Doesn't smell like it's gonna be good, if I'm being honest. Smells like an aristocratic Frenchman with a piss fetish. <laughs> Here we go. What? There's a lot happening. And it's none of it is what I expected. This tastes like vinegar. This straight up tastes like vinegar, but it's pretty good. I like it a lot. It's a little too mean to be a five, but it's a four. I like, this is cool. This is a weird fucking drink. You know, I used to have stories told about me, John Mulaney. Is that alcohol or perfume? I grabbed it and drank all of it and said, it's perfume. <laughs> That's the most interesting tasting thing I've had so far. I guess that might be what it would taste like if you took like a, the thorns of a rose horizontally and went chomp, like a corn on the cob, but wow. Weird, 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 weird. Not bad. Very strange. We've got Victorian lemonade and then we have Rose lemonade. Traditional botanical lemon beverage with herbal extracts. I saw the ingredients in this one. It's weird. Also, these have 19% lemon juice. So these are gonna kick me in the dick. Uh, carbonated water, lemon juice concentrate, fermented ginger root extract, beet sugar, glucose syrup, pear juice concentrate, cream of tartar, natural flavors, speedwell and juniper berry. You can really taste the cream of tartar. Friends gather round. I've concocted a lovely lemonade. I've put juniper berries in it and uh, 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 lemon concentrate, natural flavors. That sounds lovely, Lord Remington. Yes, allow me to mix it for you. And Lord Remington pulls an entire pickle out of his pocket and begins mixing it in front of you. Here, drink it, you bitch. This tastes so strange. It tastes fermented, but it's not bad. It tastes like you left a good lemonade next to like the condiments at a fish restaurant. And the lemonade was like, ooh, I'll take a little. <laughs> Why does it taste like this? Four, I like it. Why is there cream of tartar in it? Rose lemonade, 7% juice, way less. What? I love a weird drink. I love a drink where the, the main attraction is me going, what the fuck? And taking another sip to see what the fuck. This is Lorina, artisanal sparkling pink lemonade. Uh, Ooh, oh, it explodes. It's very nice. It's very simple. It's very mellow. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Four. This is what I expected from this. Tasted like pink. There we go. These are really nice, actually. Uh, these were like eight bucks a pop. They actually do taste like it. Th these would be well at home at a fancy restaurant. They're pretty good. Same thing as this one. 
This one's less pink. It's a little bit of a bitch. That's the difference. So now... Whole Foods. 100% cold pressed juice. Green lemonade. Ingredients. Apples, cucumbers, spinach, kale, and lemons. Last. This is not what I looked like. Oh boy, can I look at that? Look at that bottom of the pond silt. Can you guys see that? Look how horrible. It's like I'm gonna drink terrarium. I am terrified of this one. This is the one I am least excited to try. Who the fuck is this product for? It doesn't have any vitamins or minerals. Produced in a facility that also produces milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, and soy. It's not for people with allergies or food specifications. It smells like a cucumber that got shoved up my nose. Why? This is cucumber apple juice. One, why would you drink this? Get cucumber juice, get spa water. This wasn't even cheap. This just exists to trick people into going like, ooh, that expensive thing is green. It must be healthy. Canada Dry Ginger Ale and Lemonade. It smells worse than I expected. You have combined two things I like to make nothing. Like a toddler throwing shit in a pan in their kitchen to see what colors swirl together. This would be nice if I had an upset stomach, which to be fair, I did today. Got a little bit of ginger, barely any lemonade. Kind of a weird aftertaste. Maybe like a two. Uh, does anyone speak Italian? La nostra limonata. Naturally flavored with extracts from three lemon blossoms. <laughs> Carbonated lemon beverage. It's not lemonade, but it's a, it's a drink. And then here we have la nostra gasosa. Uh, gasosa. I appreciate that they have twist off caps. Kind of tastes like this, but less fun. If I pick this up on a normal day, four, after this bunch, it tastes like a three. I think it's a four though. I, I won't do it dirty. Let's try the gazosa. This one is different in that it is made of a different Italian thing I can't read. It's definitely worse. It's like 80% lemonade, then bread. I don't like that one. Yeasty? A little bit. That's too strong a word. I'd say it would be like, 3% yeast, and the rest would be lemonade if I was gonna call it yeasty. Why have lemonade when you can drink leninade, as in Vladimir Lenin? Get hammered and sickled. Join the party, as in the Communist Party. A taste worth standing in line for. Misha, chill down this bottle and chill out. Drink, comrade, drink. It's this or the gulag. What's in this? A mystery, it doesn't say. Kind of a very, very mellow lemon soda. It's like a, like a fresca. All of the charm of this is in the bottle. Three, disappointing. What's the taste of communism? Um, boring. Alcohol. So for those who don't know me, I don't drink alcohol. I hate how alcohol tastes. Every time a friend has ever gone, oh, try this, you can barely taste the alcohol, they're a fucking liar, I could taste a eyedropper of alcohol in a bathtub. Here we go, I'm gonna hate all of these. Truly strawberry lemon, hard seltzer. It smells like alcohol. As far as alcohol goes, that is drinkable. You know what it tastes like? Trader Joe's has these big bubble water things that are like, shaped like that. They're very good, high tier bubble water. Tastes like you poured some alcohol in that. First thing you taste is the alcohol. Then the middle, actually pretty nice seltzer. Aftertaste is alcohol. If it didn't have alcohol in it, it'd be pretty good. This is Floyd's Spiked Lemonade. Come on, it smells worse. Oh, it smells like a fish restaurant. So clearly the taste of drawing all over a dry erase board until you can sort of smell it and like maybe a Sharpie in there. And you're like, ooh, ooh, I'm using too much Sharpie. Except instead of going like, I should stop or back away, going, Better clean this board off. Gross, for sure worse than this. Mike's Hard Lemonades. Never had these. Even people who drink alcohol make fun of them, so I hope they don't taste like alcohol. Doesn't smell like alcohol, which is a huge bonus to me. What? What the fuck? Mike, do you know what lemonade is? Is there lemon juice in here? Mike, I need to know. You don't say. Mike keeps his secrets. That tastes like one of the piddliest, worst, lightest lemonades. And then someone 
pumped hand sanitizer into it. Not a good lemonade, not a good alcohol beverage. Oh, this isn't a mic, it's a Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels Lynchbird Lemonade contains alcohol. Not very much, actually, okay. Why do you fuckers not list your shit on the bottle? I hate it when I know what the flavor is and I can't identify it. Oh, I really, I really know this one. Lemon, that's it. <laughs> Once again, this one has poolside energy. Calypso has it in a good way. This has it in a bad way. Mike's is better. It's bad, but they're both bad. So like drink the one that tastes less shitty. All right, let's try these other ones. I'm gonna save hard black cherry for last. Whoa, careful there. We're <laughs> getting kind of tipsy. Mike's hard lemonade, pineapple seasonal pick. This is almost good. There's a flavor on this. It's like if I went to Willy Wonka's factory and you're on that fruit wall where it's like lickable wallpaper. And again, it's like there was a pineapple and someone scribbled on it with Sharpie at the end. But like, that's, there's pineapple. This one's drinkable. And it kind of has a good aftertaste. I might give this a three. It doesn't taste like lemonade, it tastes like pineapple, but I'll I'll give you one, Mike's. You have one good one. Hard strawberry lemonade. Doesn't smell very good, but none of them do. What the fuck? You took that pink starburst and you rubbed it so hard on that dry erase board. Like, I'm not eating the pink starburst you used as an eraser. I'm still licking the board and being like, oh, I think there was a starburst here. I think it's probably better than the basic lemonade. Which is very nothing. Mike's Hard Black Cherry Lemonade. I could drink this. Four. God, even with alcohol, this is better than some of the other shit I've had. This is the best one. Easy. Easy, easy. I forgot one. This is Langer's Lemonade. Maybe it'll be a five, who knows. It tastes exactly the same as all these other shitty store lemonades too. Unsurprisingly, I'm gonna go pee. Oh, what a fucking mess. Oh, I pre predictably don't feel good. I'm like legitimately exhausted. <laughs> Please come to my house and take lemonade from me. I need to buy groceries and I don't have room. We've got these three here. Let's just decide which of these is the best Calypso drink. So, strawberry lemonade. Oh, it's such a pool drink. It really tastes like a pool in like the best possible way. Oh, it's so nice. Right, the bitch that tastes like blood. Ah! Oh man, I really like this one. This one's better than this, easy. That one stings. The blood is good. It. I don't have to tell you. Gut reaction. I think blood, better than purple, better than strawberry. All great though. All right, sparkling lemonade boiling. So good. Oh, I get to wiggle again. I forgot that I liked these. And then this guy. This one's like a memory. This one feels like rocking on a porch. It's just so sweet. I like this one more than this. So this is the best a sweet mellow lemonade could possibly be even though it's a craft soda. I'm, put, I'm putting it up here. Top five, Dublin Cherry Limeade is a soda, so it's not a lemonade. This is cheating. But if I'm including it, this fucker's the best one. It's just nice. Boiling Sparking Lemonade, this, this one is technically a lemonade. It's really good. All Calypso is good, simply is good. I thought I'd have to do a bottom ranking, We've got our loser as well. Swoon lemonade, pink lemonade. This is one of the worst things I've ever had. 